A lie ain't shit to tell, and a heart ain't shit to break, in this tale of love, lust, and betrayal. Samantha, aka Sam, is a beautiful 20-something pharmacist who's married to sexy comedian Dre. Sam and Dre have a fairy tale marriage until one day everything changes. After Sam finds texts, pictures, and a heap load of holes in Dre's phone, she sees that Dre isn't who he pretends to be. So she sets out to tell a few lies of her own. Come on this steamy, turbulent thrill ride and find out how one can suffer from the lies they tell. Hey everybody, it's me, Arthur Nikki G. Y'all know me, y'all know who I am, Silas Elber. And I'm doing this vlog today for my book, the book I did in three days, 100 pages in three days. The book is called A Lion Ship to Tell, and it'll be out maybe in the next week or two. So I guess I'm going to just start by telling y'all about myself. Um, I'm 33, from Memphis, Tennessee, born and raised. I'm the most friendly person you probably will meet. I'm writing life. Everything I write got a message too. Now this is our question and answer session. So I posted a status on my uh, personal Facebook page asking everyone to send me in questions that they would like for me to answer during this vlog. And as you know, this is for my 100 pages in three days challenge. And the book that I produced was A Lying Shit to Tell. So my first set of questions come from Mary Childs, one of my most supportive readers that I ever met. I love you so much, girl. When did I know I wanted to be a writer? I think I always knew I wanted to be a writer. Like, I always wrote. I didn't know if this exactly what I was going to do with my life, but I always knew this what I wanted to do. Like, I always knew I liked to write. I don't know, it's crazy. I like school. I was a professional student, going to school a lot, and I always enjoyed those discussion questions. It's so crazy. Like, they'll tell you to write 200 word discussion questions, and I was always that student that'll write 600 words or 800 words, and I didn't got took off. Ooh, shout out to my professor at the University of Phoenix. Who what was his name? Robinson. Professor Robinson. I wrote a paper that was so good for my psychology class. Like, I'm talking about that paper was so A1. I know it was. This man gave me a C because he said I went over and beyond what he said do. He said 2100 words and I wrote 6500 so he was mad. But how you gonna knock me because I couldn't cut off my thoughts. Like, anyway, shout out to you because look at me now. So that's the end of my re. Thanks, boo. Next is my sis, Camry Hunter. Hey, boo. And she said, what inspired me to write? Inspired me to write. Uh, that would be my aunt. My aunt Devon Works. Devon Russell Works. She died in 2004. She was like the best thing in the world. Besides my mama, like she was the best thing ever. And when I say a woman that read, so freaking intelligent, she read, she write, like she was the person that really pushed me to write because she was writing the story of her life before she passed. And like she the one who, she the reason why I write. Like if it weren't for her, I wouldn't write nothing. Like everything I write is for her. I'm getting kind of emotional right now, so I'm gonna get off this subject, but like everything I do is for her. I love you once. Now, next is from my friend, Miss Monica McLeod Turner. She had so many nice questions for me. Oh, um, thank you, boo. Her first one was, have personal experiences ever prompted you to create certain characters? Absolutely. Almost all my characters come from some added personal. I'm gonna just go and be real about this. <laughs> Y'all can see that. <laughs> This book right here, Mitch. This a real book, y'all. Like every dude you see on there, do some real dudes. I hope ain't none of my exes watching this, cause you might see your face up there. Yeah. Mm hmm. Anyway, <laughs> these real dudes. The only dude that ain't real up here is 
robber. I had to make him up because, you know, like, how you gonna make a story good if you don't get something at the background? So I had to give him a monster in the background, but all the rest of these folks real. This cotton boy, real bully. Jamal, mmm. Whew. The junkie, mmm. This cheater, woo, baby, honey, I'm through talking about it, but they real people. I ain't gonna say who they really is, but they know who they is. So next, we have Tiffany Lane. Hey, Tim, Memphis, would you support your kids if they wanted to be an author? Well, I actually have a daughter who's 15 years old named Miss Brianna Thomas. She's one of my Facebook friends, and she's my promoter. Excellent writer. When I say this little girl can write her ass off. She on Wattpad. She on Wattpad. She writes so many stories on Wattpad, but I cannot get her to put it in a book for the same my damn life. She keep telling me, Ma, that's not my dream. That's not my passion. That's your dream. I think it's just that teenage rebellious stuff. She don't want to do it because I want her to do it. She's like, that's your passion, that's your dream, not mad. She want to be a child psychologist, but I'm going to get her to collaborate with me. Me and her working on a book right now that's, um, well, I'm working on it. I'm going to get her to jump in it sometime. And it's, um, it's focusing on the issues that mothers and daughters have. Like, it's a lot of issues that mothers and daughters have that nobody else will understand but us. So, the book is called Mama Knows Best. And then at the bottom it say dot 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 or so she thinks. That's coming from the teenage perspective, of course. So we gonna have a. I, I think I'm gonna do it with maybe four or five other moms and daughter combinations, and we gonna just gonna answer basic questions that moms might have to the teenagers and some that teenagers might have to the moms. We gonna resolve some of these myths. That these little girls got, I see, because they really ain't keen on sex. They really ain't keen on how these boys are manipulative nowadays. So, we really gonna try to touch on everything in that book. And this book, gonna, this gonna be a long process. I'm not rushing this book. This ain't no uh, 100 pages in three days book. This gonna be something that's gonna take me at least a year. So, you be looking for that fall of next year. And that's about it. I mean, I got so much stuff coming, y'all. Y'all just gotta pay attention and wait on me. And don't be rushing me. Shoot, y'all be talking about, I didn't drop three books in money. Y'all still be like, where are all three? <laughs> can, can, I, can, can I take a nap? Can I, can I watch some movies? Y'all ain't read no book in seven months. Because y'all keeping me working. But I love it, though. But So be on the lookout because Mitch's 2 is finna come. A lying shit to tell. Um, my bitch foe. Mm-hmm. Coming. Sins of that mother three. Um, uh, a long way from home too. Oh yeah, y'all thought I was gonna leave that alone. Mm-mm. Memphis two gonna be coming too. I can't tell you when. Then I got a new junk coming out. For